we've seen today, they're already on Flow Arena if you want to go back and watch. Lachlan said, I thought he was going to stand and wrestle for a bit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? He, he sat before the handshake was even finished. <laughs> right? Cade, and listen, this is where Cade is very good from. They're very good with this, this step pin passing. They're very good with north-south passing with when they uh, pin the legs over a partner over uh, their opponent's shoulders. And they're That's very good passing. at countering the leg locks to move themselves into scoring positions as well, Jay. Uh, obviously, Darce experts. <laughs> yeah, the, the slightest hint of you taking an underhook. <laughs> and there's a Darce coming out of nowhere. And they have an uncanny ability to get their arms figure forward and in, in control. Oh, look at this, Lachlan. And we know what Lachlan's going to want to do here, right? Yeah, He's going to want to use leg entanglements to score or leg entanglements to finish Cade. If there is any part of Cade's game that is, like, lower than Lachlan's, I believe it's going to be the leg game. Yeah, and if there's any impurity in Cade's defense yeah. at any moment, Lachlan will expose it down here. I mean, look at what he did through the absolute division last time. You see how Lachlan's addressing this this the uh, leg pin passing too. Kate getting aggressive here. Oh, oh man, yes he is, and and he and he's got a tank. He Lachlan, has tank. So uh, now watch, though. watch what he's doing. Every time Cade is going for that uh, leg pin passing, Lachlan is like circling his knee inside, circling his knee inside so that he can't get it pinned. Now he's put him to his hip. No points yet, but he's okay, been able to use it. Ty turns away, able to heel slip, controlling that top leg. Lachlan trying to get inside position on that leg. But look, and look how patient he's being, it's too, just his, his ability to be sticky is just second to nine. All right, now you're going to see the elbow connection quick here from Rotolo. You're going to see him dive down to a north-south position, I believe, quickly, where he's going to get his elbows in. Lachlan, look at that, came over on the arm on that. Rotolo moves north-south. Lachlan. And even Stays though inverted. Rotolo hasn't been able to complete a pass yet, that constant pressure where he, he gets the hands on the shins and pushes the knees and the elbows away from each other, it's constant pressure on the core of the bottom player. It's, it's very taxing. Even though it looks like something very simple, it's a very, very taxing position, constantly You're constantly the having pace. the crunch to bring your yeah. knees to your chest, knees to your elbows. But Lachlan looking very efficient here, though. Yeah, he's trying to K, K into that. Good job of controlling the legs, controlling what needs to control him is Cade. Nice step around. Uh, oh, all the way into the 50-50. Oh. Again, Cade immediately, immediately heel slips down. All right, Lachlan's got a little bit better of an angle. You see Cade trying to address by getting his uh, hand to that back leg to unravel this grip or unravel the control. Lachlan's so sticky. He's yeah, got he this unbelievable ability to stay connected with. Uh, he's just one of the best I've ever seen. And, at and that. it's not like he has a, a, a deep scoop grip, bro. No. He's got his elbow pinned to his hip. You know, it's just so mechanically efficient. Ooh, man, Cade tried two quick turns to roll out of that. Now he'll be able to sit. He should be able to get his knee line free from this. Lachlan will open the control, try to throw inside. Cade using that left leg to extend out. We're a minute and 20 to points here. Up on the feet. This is what I'm talking about. Remember I said Jamir's going to drive his head down. So he's trying to get his shoulders between Lachlan's knees and hips. So if that means he has to forcefully dive his head to one side of the hip, he's going to do it. Daily heave it off to the outside, looking to K in. Good job of Cade using his left hand to control that secondary leg. That secondary leg, that's what it needs to do. Come around to the back. Oh, outside heel here. Now we'll push to 50-50. Now he turns inside control, almost crossed the Ashi. Cade gets up, jumps that leg out. And Lachlan has to be very <laughs> careful right there. Cade is a master of flipping that 50-50 position into a back take or a leg drag. He baits it, like he invites it. He wants you to put him in the 50-50. 20 Trying seconds to points. Moving north-south here again is Rotolo. Look at him, he's, he's changing that head. He's going he's gonna to throw his head down again. I'm interested to see if he tries to push his heels down to stack it all. You see him just slightly touching there if he's just going to keep diving in. 
Now you see him trying to push the legs away to create space. There it goes. Diving that head in, trying to pummel his shoulder underneath. Here come the points. There we are, yeah. We're stay in aware. points now. So Cade is, is top, Lachlan's bottom. So positions are established. Leg pin here. This is the first time I've seen Lachlan allow the leg pin. Like he's been addressing it immediately and like pummeling his leg back in. You, you almost were wonder if that five minutes, because listen, Lachlan hasn't had a ton of matches since the last ADCC. So you're five minutes into where Cade hasn't stopped trying to pass your guard yet. And Ooh, don't get me wrong. That knee cut. Oh, Connection wow. now. Good, good work. job. Yeah, good job of Giles of getting his top knee and elbow to connect immediately. But great attempt here from Cade. Now, BMAC, when you're talking about initiations and stuff, I, you know, Lachlan is, has been jumping his hips up to get to some control stuff like this. Oh, he's, he's got that inside, inside heel! Inside heel. You know, so Cade's on the oh, grip. Oh, that's bad! It's that's 50, bad! 50, but Cade's on the heel. Cade, Cade's on the grip. So I think while he's on the grip, oh, man, now he's got to... Okay, yeah, he's out. That was so, so what I think, B-Mac, is I think he went so quick to the grip, he wasn't allowing the shoulders to turn or extension. And now he is almost through with that knee. Now let's see if he moves north-south. He's going to have to cut his right elbow back to the near side hip. Lachlan able to square back off. But man, solid, solid attempt from Lachlan. Yeah. So that's been the closest act, the closest to a score or a submission. But I feel like Cade has really been pushing the pace. So you got to wonder how those are going to play against each other if we end up going there to the There it is. Dives the head, trying to get the shoulders to the hips. This is bad. This he's is what inside. he's wanted the whole time. You see him, Lauren Pummel, all right, Lachlan able to turn, get his knees back inside. North-south position, still here for Rotolo. Final three minutes before we still hit working. OT. Still working on Lachlan right there. It's pressure for There's there a big move. Throws the hips forward, now head. Again, he's trying to get his shoulders to the hips. He's trying to get his shoulders between Lachlan makes another entry on the there. arm. That's the second time he's done that with the arm to try to drag him closer, BMAC. Look at this, another entry. 50, All the way 50. around to the 50-50. Cade, very good from yeah, that spot, Especially though. that specific 50-50 situation. Yeah. Oh, look at this, almost knee on belly. Lachlan got to be careful. He doesn't take an underhook. Oh, man. That dart. Using that right knee to try to trap that bottom arm down. Cade in a good position here. Just over two minutes remain. Starting to work Atos inside. Is Cade Rotolo. Lachlan does a good job keeping his shins. He just get at least one shin to that collar. Oh, oh fall back on the arm here work. is Cade. He just jumped back on that. Throwing it across. He oh. gets the tap. Cade Rotolo. Your winner by cross side arm lock. Juji Gatami finish for Cade Rotolo. Holy cow, out of nowhere, right? Just trying to pass, trying to pass, trying to pass. God connect. With Cade Rotolo taking the win there, but we had nominated it for match of the year. It was so competitive. Roberto had some great moments in that. They've definitely evolved as athletes since then. Here they are today of round two at ADCC, the World Championships. Kid Rotolo, very fluid, almost sort of an unorthodox stance. Oh, and here we go! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna stay back here, <laughs> just in case I gotta get up again. It's okay, we got a line of photographers. They'll sacrifice themselves for us, I'm sure, Jake. It'll be fine. Roberto Jimenez, very... Stoic in his face, pressing forward. Yeah, you mentioned Kate is unorthodox. He really has some unconventional shots. He'll go for an ankle pick from really far range. Likes to mix it up. But Roberto Jimenez here. Double unders. Making things very uncomfortable for Cade. Now really trying to pick up the double unders is Roberto Jimenez and almost getting swept with a little trip there by Cade Rotolo. Oh, and looking for the Uchimata over the back with the leg in between, elevating. Oh, but Roberto counters, lands inside control, but look out for the buggy. 
Kate is already hunting the buggy. And Roberto, look at Roberto immediately taking his arm back behind R Cade Rotolo's leg there. You saw the left arm really come. And look at Cade forcing it to the other side to force the buggy choke. Oh! <laughs> My goodness, these two are swinging. And Cade reverses the position to land on top. Very few can do that when Roberto Jimenez has his sights set on your back. Drops back now for a leg. Oh, and this is possibly dangerous for Roberto. And he gets a tap. Cade Rotolo is moving to Sunday. Takes out Roberto Jimenez. What, what a match. Atos Jiu Jitsu HQ, one of the heads of the, uh, of the wrestling program down there. And also, uh, strangely, AJ Akazarn. Yeah, AJ ran a lot of his ADCC camp at Atos. And Ty Rotolo, no surprise to see him make a chair either. And we're right into things here. Aggressive start, no surprise to see PJ eager to engage in a little bit of a wrestling. Much more orthodox style than Cade Ruotolo, but that's what makes this fun. Cade really shuffles from side to side as well. You never know what, uh, what he's doing or what he's thinking. PJ much more traditional in his stance. Yeah, Cade has got to be one of the most difficult athletes to game plan for. You mentioned game plans and, strat and tactics, but... Oh, big single leg from Cade Ruotolo. Just so aggressive. He's been described by a lot of fans as a, a little more, I don't want to use the word reckless, I'll say more aggressive, aggressively submission oriented than his brother Ty. Something that's pretty hard to do, <laughs> I would say. Oh, and PJ showing a little bit. I imagine PJ might be the physically stronger of the two. Look at Cade baiting the shot, opening his arms wide. Once again, and on a single leg. And this match on the betting odds this morning was so close. Initially, the betting odds were plus 100 for PJ and minus 150, or 155 for Cade Rotolo. So they're really borderline dead even as far as the fans and those betting online are concerned. It's a very, yeah, you mentioned that, Chase. It's very interesting. He's opening his arms wide, really baiting the shot in. One of Cade's and Ty's biggest weapons is their Darsh Choke. They even walked out in the opening ceremony and did the, the Darsh Choke hand symbol. The Phantom Darsh. The Phantom Darsh. You know PJ's thinking about taking the bait. He's looking at that. When do I shoot? What's going to happen? Absolutely. And while Kate has been very quick on these single attempts of his own, it looks like PJ's unfazed by them. You gotta think for both athletes, there's a measured level of caution when it comes to shooting for a takedown. If you're K, you shoot, you get sprawled on, and possibly your back taken, or put in a guillotine. And PJ Barge, the dart stroke is not far away at any time. Nice foot sweep there from PJ, back on the neck, hanging on the head here in his little headlock action. K finds a way out though, but nice look from PJ Barge there. Oh, definitely now running PJ oh, out of ow. bounds is Cade Ruotolo. That looked like a painful landing in the concrete. They landed both knees hard on the concrete just now. It's one thing about ADCC, the mats, 
are not where the action ends as long as there is action. You just saw earlier Wagner Roach and Lucas Barbosa go possibly in the middle margin between us and the fans here. That's lots of TV. One minute until points come into effect in this match. Remember the first half of every ADCC match, regardless of the length. There are no points scored in the second half is when points come into effect. down from Cade. It was definitely a slam dunk level of snap down <laughs> that Cade just threw on top on PJ Barge. Just 10 seconds now until we see points going to effect and you have to think a flurry may be in store as these guys start to try and put some points on the board here. I agree Chase, it's been a very measured approach thus far but now points are in effect. Once again, snatching a single leg, rocking, locking a rear naked choke grip on the single leg. A lot of Autos competitors really love to have that grip orientation whenever they go for the single leg to put pressure more down on the quad. Oh, no. going for the double now, but counter from PJ Barch. Oh, and now PJ possibly looking. Looked for a second like he was thinking about throwing his leg over for that arm bar. Gotta love the tenacity of K not wanting to accept position there, right back to his feet. PJ, great timing there in the counter. You see Cade, as soon as that, uh, that scramble was kind of broken up, he was right in PJ's face, eyeing him down. You see Ty Rotolo in the corner of Kate Rotolo yelling at his brother, standing up and screaming at him. There made a lot of passion between those two. Oh, a single leg from P.J. Barch now. Trying to go around to the back. So they're going to reset it here. This is the key moment for P.J. Barch. He's in a great position now. Oh, beautiful transition to put the hooks in, using his free foot to open up some space. And once again, that's a very interesting hook on the leg there, Chase. Yeah, really breaking down Cade's base, sliding that foot out. Cade looking to kind of sit out there, but almost a risky maneuver. PJ Barch still hanging on to your life. Cade once again looking for the sit out. And PJ Barge looking to put his left hook in now. He's got one hook in. And he's very high over the top now of Cade. Cade pulling down on the head, hoping he can pull PJ down. You almost wonder if PJ was looking to potentially go for the Sulawav stretch. Josh Cisneros was used and popularized. Oh, he's going oh, for the, the other hook. Maybe the back. Kate immediately extracts the hook. That was very close. PJ still hunting for it. PJ Bart just tenacious though right now. Oh, but Kate shoulder to the mats. Big stiff arm from Kate Rotolo. Once again, forced in a turtle position. Two minutes left. Oh, 
Oh, and there's the sit out from Cade Rotolo, reversing the position. Back up on the feet, and a sit out from PJ Barnes to return. Oh, is Cade on oh. arm? Is Cade on? No, he's not. He's not chasing the leg. Oh, and he is in the air. He's back on it. That's oh it. God. Cade Rotolo submits PJ Barnes here and punches his ticket to the final. What a transition. What a scramble. He was in such a tough spot, PJ Barge. Oh, and there it is. Backflip celebration. Uh, JT Torres, the former champion, but we got JT's teammate, Cade Rotolo, one of the most exciting grapplers in the world today against Mika Galvao. It's Manaus versus San Diego here in the 77 kilogram finals. I got goosebumps, Jay Smith. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm in awe. It's worth noting, Cade Rotolo has secured three submission wins on his way to the final. Lachlan Giles, Roberto Jimenez, and PJ Barch. A lot of variety in his game. Crazy scrambles, submissions from anywhere. It's uh, really something special to watch him compete. Cade Rotolo, one half of the fighting Rotolos. Ty, his brother, twin brother. Two of the most exciting competitors on the planet today. And, you know, they just throw caution to the wind, Sean Williams. They're going out there. They're doing takedowns. They're doing throws. They're doing back takes. They're doing darses. They're doing marses, whatever you want to call it. They're throwing everything at each other. Yeah, that's that's exactly right. And that's it's unpredictable, right? They're sort of He's sort of unpredictable. Um, so that, that makes it hard to, to deal with him. It's, he can. You saw him just drop down for an ankle pick, just sort of just out of the blue. And then he's back up on the collar ties. And... There was no real setup, but he's so long, and he just gets he gets through on things. So he's un a little unpredictable. Mika Galvao, yellow, green, rash guard, blue shorts. Cade Rotolo with the black shorts and rash guard. Mika now. And on the take, a, he's got to be careful here. Cade's good, really good at defending his position. Mika spins out. Cade on top. He's got his neck almost... Uh, Got to watch the yeah. doses here. It's something that he specializes in. Mika controlling the arm of Cade Rotolo, trying to prevent that dart as Sean Williams is calling. Pushing it away. Making space. Cade now using that right knee. Inch closer. Gets cross face on Mika Galvan. Does Cade Rotolo. You know, watch his weight, excuse me, Ricardo. Yeah. He's got to watch his weight a little bit. Cade's getting a little far off to the left. Uh, and unless he goes over the top of the head and isolates that far arm with his right arm, he's going to have to be, uh, he's got an underhook. He's got to gotta watch that weight. Mika doing a great job of making space, trying to elevate Cade, inverting now. Getting to the top position, tangles up a leg. Cade looking for the back, it yeah. looks like. He's moving that right knee into the hip so he can then push that left leg down and think about taking the back. Cade's counter ability, yeah. I want to say, is just next level. I would say that it's arguable he's the best. The, 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 the two brothers are the best, too, at that counter, that particular counter, that back take off of, a, off of heel hook opportunity. You know, I, I can't remember the last time we've seen Mika Gavon in any sort of bad position. But every time he's there, he works his way back to a guard, extends his legs, get, pushes Kate away. Now he's coming back on top. But again, every time he's making space on Kate, Kate counters right away. Rotolo is known for their foot stomp passing system which forces their opponents to normally try to attack their legs with their arms with sets up the darces and anacondas that they love to do well they love to put a pace on their opponents yeah. right they want to yeah. break them down you know it's not the first punch it's the 30th jab, 30th jab that lands and really causes some damage and that's how they do their passing and again kind of showing the darts there a little bit it's Cade covering the face, making things nasty. He knows this is a long match. He can just try and do his best to wear Mika down. Mika on the bottom. 
hooking the leg with his arms. He's got a strong lock on that. Inverting now. Little, would we call that a matrix guard? Right to 50-50, yeah. or no, going right to the heel, I should say. Mika now getting to the back, and Cade with the nice counter. Mika's yeah. got double unders here. 15 minutes, 30 seconds left to go. Battle of Brazil versus America here in Las Vegas. Team Fight Sports versus Team Atos. Yeah, K K Cade has, should keep him right here because uh, Mika has double unders. So you don't want to lift him up too far. He can drop underneath you and drop him to the feet. But he's unlocked his hands now. I think he's weaponized his hair at this point. <laughs> I told you, that it's just you <laughs> Everything's know, unpredictable. A weapon. Everything can be a weapon, that's right. There he's now. A good job to peel those underhooks off. And so dropping a little bit into what we might call K-guard, looking for that yeah. matrix back take, which also opens up some leg attacks here. It does. Usually it, it lends you to that backside position, backside 50-50 or whatnot, but... They have two very different speeds. Um, Mika is just, it's not slow, but it's not rushed, whereas Cage scrambles fast. But every time Mika does transition, he's able to just slip right into another one, whereas Cage is a little bit more dynamic with his passing and counters and back takes. Big contrast to styles, but, uh, you know, these are two of the youngest competitors in ADCC looking to make history and become one of the youngest champions of the ADCC Submission Fighting World Championship. Look at how Mika just constantly recovers and K just does not stop moving on the top. Yeah, it, it, K, K is doing an excellent job of keeping his legs safe, even though Mika's doing a, has a lot of op offensive opportunity here, but K keeps freeing his legs, keeping him on the insides, grabbing the ankles with his wrist, keeping him, he's doing a good job. Now, there is, there is a potential that if Mika can, can go get this, his bottom leg underneath like this it's a false reposition. position he had a he had that over the over wrap of the other leg which would have been interesting let's go for a calf there is slicer. a calf slicer yeah. here from that position yeah. too mika in on this deep is, there this is a good counter for Cade though the problem with that calf slicer is that you can leave your other leg open for an attack and that's oh. kind of what's going on right now is that you have to be a little cautious of that because if you have a flexible quad, that can be hard to get finished in. Cade just reefing on that heel yeah. there. And it's a good attack on Cade has. He could also switch to a toe hold attack. Mika gets his foot out. Great use of the wizard there yeah. from Cade, but the scramble's not finished yet. There it is, foot stomp passing in play by Rotolo. Mika sat up and stretched his arm for a second, and I think he remembered he's got to be careful because the darts could come mm -hmm. at any moment. And the craziest thing is, if Mika reverses him for a clean sweep or a clean takedown, he ends up on side. He's got to watch out for buggy jokes. <laughs> yeah, either one of these guys can snag a submission in the blink of an eye. Kate is really making the most of, the, of these top passing positions though, to weigh on Mika, drain him a little bit. It's kind of unusual. Mika's always in, in a great spot. We see him already improve his position now, but these glimmers for Kate are looking good. Yeah, he's going to try to pull off a, a steam lock here. Look. He's in good position on this foot. Mika's got to invert on that or... Mika doing such a good job of inverting, tangling the leg, but he's just not able to stabilize and finish those sweeps. Attacking the leg is Mika Galvão there. Cade rotating out. Little back step action there. Mika doubling down, going belly down here. Yeah, straight Achilles lock. Probably could use a little more bridging power there. Maybe beat the, put the, foot, the, the feet to the hips. 
Yeah, Cade and, and just the Rotolos in general, their knees, <laughs> they just looks like they can slip yeah. out of anything. Very flexible, flexible hips. 10 minutes, 40 seconds left in this match. We're gonna reset this in the middle. And this is one thing that Rotolos both love to do. If they get to that north-south position with no connection, they will back away and actually make their opponent use more core strength mm -hmm. to try and keep mm -hmm. some kind of frame in place. It's uh, pretty unique to them and it's very, very draining. 10 minutes, 25 seconds left in this match. Battle of the Fight Sports versus Atos, Brazil versus America at the 2022 ADCC World Championship. And either Mika or Cade will become the youngest ever champion of ADCC in this weight class. This is shades of uh, Ty Rotolo, Mika Galvao, when Ty was trying to get to North South standing, unable to commit. Points are on. Could see a change of pace here. Nine minutes, 40 seconds left in this match. That looks uncomfortable. Yeah, Kate okay, trying to wrist lock. You can kind of smile and turn it in there. Kate just sliding knee slide just like out of nowhere. Just like a baseball slide with that. Drops the knee right through the legs. Nine minutes, six seconds left in this match. Cade Rotolo taking a page out of Kaina Duarte's book, controlling the wrist from the top position, trying to prevent Mika to underhook his left leg with that right hand so he can complete his pass. Mika thinking about a single there for a second. And Mika's had a lot of setups, but just unable to get to his feet with those and I think even if he does he runs the risk of Cade just scrambling right out so he's got to be careful Sean Williams I see a bear trap on that side that's right yeah he's got a bear trap opportunity he's got to open up the knee a little and then pass the leg to the other side so that he does not get countered with that back take but yeah nice thread his left leg all the way through oh he's oh, down and Cade Rotolo just submitted Mika Galvao, are you kidding? Cade Rotolo in his first run at ADCC just submitted the monster from Manaus. Four submissions for Cade Rotolo to claim gold here at ADCC 2022. That was insane. What a show. Wow. Cade Rotolo just made history. Is that right? Four submissions, Jay Smith. Becoming the youngest ever ADCC champion at 77 kilograms division.